Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to Petit Cavi. Guinea pigs spend most of their time in their crate homes and it's our job as parents to make sure that they have the best quality food, water, toys, and most important, bedding, since it takes up the largest square footage. I'm sure by now you all know how much I love these bedding, so I wanted to share with you all how I personally use it, maintain it, and also give you some fun tips and tricks. So let's get cozy, like fleas, get it, and let's watch the video. A bedding should not only be absorbent and safe for the health of our guinea pig friends, but should also be as soft and as comfortable as possible for them. There are three main types of bedding that are most commonly used with guinea pigs. Paper-based bedding, Aspen bedding and fleece bedding. What is fleece bedding? Fleece bedding is made up of two or three layers of fabric. There's a fleece exterior combined with an absorbent layer on the bottom or in the middle. This absorbent layer is what allows the absorption of liquids while the fleece fabric has the ability to dry quickly and also the skin to breathe. Fleece bedding is also reusable and super durable so extra points on being environmentally friendly and cost efficient. Just to give you an idea, I've had this fleece for 3 years. As you can see, it's not damaged and still has a good level of absorption. How to use a fleece bedding Before putting the fleece in the home, it's super important to wash it first. You'll want to do this for hygienic reasons. Remember, this unfortunately is not grown in nature and is made in factories or in people's homes, so it's always best to give it a quick wash before your first use. Washing it also allows the optimization of the performance of the fleece. This is because the new fleece has a water barrier that must be worn off before it's able to allow liquids to pass quickly through the absorbent layer below. In other words, when it's new, the urine will stay on the surface and will take longer to absorb. As you continue to wash the fleece and it wears down, it will absorb the liquid quicker and more efficiently. You can wash your fleece by hand or put it in a washing machine. If possible, I recommend choosing a detergent that has as few additives and fragrances as possible. Some additives can deteriorate the absorption capacity of fleece, and the scents can cause discomfort to the small, thin muzzles of guinea pigs who have a very sensitive smell. A good rule of thumb, the fewer ingredients in your detergent, the better. It is strongly recommended to wash in hot water to kill germs. When drying your fleece, you can either choose to air dry it or put it in the dryer to tumble dry. Make sure your fleece is completely dry before storing it to prevent the formation of mold and bacteria. This will also prevent the formation of unpleasant odors. Tips and Tricks Your fleece bedding may have accumulated odors over time that are difficult to remove with a simple detergent. I recommend adding 125 ml of white vinegar to your laundry load to help minimize the odor. I personally add this to every load because it also acts as a disinfectant, but it's really up to you. White vinegar is safe for your fur babies and will not damage your fleece bedding. Baking soda is also a good odor neutralizer that can also be added to your wash cycle. One half cup is more than enough. If you have guinea pigs that have been infected with contagious skin condition or disease like ringworm, for example, you can disinfect your fleece in the washing machine with your usual detergent and hot water. By hot water, I mean at least more than 44 degrees Celsius. Hot water alone can kill the fungus and as an added precaution, you can add 125 ml of bleach to your load and run an extra rinse cycle to protect sensitive little noses. I would advise you to dry your fleece in the dryer at a higher temperature. 
avoid overloading your load of laundry. Everything you put in the washing machine needs the space to move around and absorb the liquids in order to clean properly. A load that is overloaded will be poorly washed, poorly rinsed, and take longer to dry. Do not use fabric softeners for your loads or dryer sheets as they reduce the absorbent property of fleece bedding. If you have accidentally used it, a few washes without softener combined with white vinegar will eventually remove the residue. Essential oils are often part of the list of ingredients in natural or homemade detergents. Avoid essential oils as much as possible, as they reduce the fleece's absorption efficiency by leaving a thin layer of oil that will cause liquids to flow instead of being absorbed into the fabric. These small absorbent pads are handy and keep your fleece bedding cleaner longer by allowing you to change only the dirty parts. It also saves you time, so added bonus points to that. Make sure to remove hay debris, hair, and droppings before washing your fleece bedding. You can use a handheld vacuum, a silicone brush, or a lint roller for example. This will allow for better cleaning and will help preserve the longevity of your washing machine. There are also laundry bags that will keep your washing machine even cleaner. Although it requires a lot of maintenance, fleece bedding is growing in popularity amongst the guinea pigs community. It turns out to be less expensive in the long run because it's reusable and lasts a long time. Also, they are super cute and can be changed depending on the season or theme and they are super soft and offer lots of added comfort to your fur baby's home. I know mine love theirs oh so very much. So with that, stay cozy and see you soon in my next video. Bye!